So Local News 8 did this interesting story last week about how Idaho crimes are becoming more common in national headlines. Interesting. So they brought back Jay Hildebrandt. Well, to be fair, I think a big part of it is that we've had such weird crimes lately. Yeah, some weird ones. Yeah. They analyzed the 129 national headlines Mm -hmm. about Idaho Falls from, or sorry, about Idaho from the last six months. 104 of them involved crimes. 25 did not. Wow. Wow. But yeah, if you think about it, well, okay. Just last week, the Econo Mm -hmm. Lodge standoff. Yeah. How random is that? That was a weird one. Yeah. And I, like, they called the cops at 115. Cops didn't show up until 3. An hour, 45 minutes later, they the IFPD said it's because they had other stuff going on. But then later it was revealed that they knew the dude. They uh-huh. had had encounters with him before. Uh-huh. They specifically brought a <clears throat> ballistic shield to the confrontation with the guy holed up in the Econo Lodge. Also, I hope that they evacuated the other rooms. I would imagine there's a whole procedure. Right. They probably... I, I don't know why they said, well, we had other stuff going on. They probably had to scramble the jets. I mean, yeah. It seems silly that they'd say that. Evacuate everybody else. Because here's the thing. Get their SWAT teams together. <laughs> right. Yeah. And and real realistically, too, if I heard that and during that time I got a speeding ticket, I'd have been like, no, there wasn't. You pulled me over. <laughs> right. That guy could have been over there taking care of this, but he was giving me a ticket. <laughs> yeah. The Econo Lodge standoff. Let's see. Chad Daybell. Mm-hmm. His trial began. The 85-year-old woman in Bingham County who, so an intruder broke into right. her home. I heard about that. And uh, handcuffed her mm-hmm. and started wandering around the house. She went back to her room, got the gun from under her pillow, shot the guy dead. Damn. How was she able to do that with the handcuffs? I, Did she get out of them? I don't know. Did One she take the chair with her? <laughs> 85-year-old granny, that's how. <laughs> that's pretty cool, honestly. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I just I think she deserves a crisp high five. I think so, Or yeah. five. Wow. Um, d- 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 Daniel Rodimer accused of killing Christopher Tapp, national mm-hmm. news. Mm-hmm. Um, Dylan Rounds remains found. Rest yeah. in peace, I was Dylan. really sad to hear about that. I was following that case. Koberger. I mean, we just, there's so mm-hmm. much national murder, death, kill, true crime story mm-hmm. news. Right, right. Coming out of well, Idaho. What's going on? Not only on? that, but there's like the Jeremy Best case too. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that was covered nationally, yep. but that was a weird one. And it was so... There are so many questions that have yet to be answered, you know? And honestly, I'm kind of shocked that Chad Daybill is even choosing to go to trial after everything. Like, bro, you saw what happened. (laughs) You'd think that at that point you'd be like, I'm just going to plead guilty. You think he's got that God (laughs) complex? Oh, of course he does. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. At that point, I'd be like, oh, maybe I'm wrong. (laughs) I just, where are the crazies coming from? Have they always been here? I mean... I I could see that I could see some cultural elements about this state in particular that could stoke those flames if it already exists in someone. Yeah. You know, and yeah, it's it's freaky, man. Well, let's try to dial it down, I know. <laughs> yeah. And also, don't be dumb. If you're like under 25 and you think that getting in a fight with a gun is cool and like something you should do oh, you're just stupid and ruining your life you will get caught and then you're gonna be in jail for the rest of your life and you're gonna look real dumb so well done you just solved it Carly. thank you you it's- just <laughs> solved crime in idaho yes yes i did <laughs> yeah hey 25 year olds don't be dumb <laughs> yeah uh, okay, policemen, dummies. you all get the day off now. You yeah. can go home. <laughs> well, and there is like this weird subculture with some of the younger dudes around here that I've noticed where like being trashy is cool and that's like their preferred aesthetic. And that's always been, yeah. it's always been that way. Kind of. That I've seen. To an extent. But like, I mean, there were times when young men would wear sweaters, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and these guys don't do that. You know, like everyone's gotten so cash. Yeah. There are people who are just so cool with being trashy. And it's like, come on, man. Wouldn't it be way cooler to have like a ton of money and like be like able to do whatever you want and yeah, like drive nice I, cars? I think you're talking about angry young men who wear their defiance like a badge of honor. Uh, it's, I mean, there are. It's more ignorance, I think, than defiance. Yes, that's, I mean, that's part of it. I, but right. I, I definitely see a lot of young males who are anti-establishment at age 20 mm-hmm. and their establishment by age 30. 
Right. There's a Rick and Morty episode where uh, they take a 40 year old Rick and they got to cut him back down to the age right. he is, which is like, I think mid teens. Mm-hmm. And so like a 15 year old and a 28 year old, the 28 year old comes out of the machine and he says, I'm just about ready to sell out. <laughs> That's the thing though. So many of them are men that aren't selling out. Like they're 38 and still think it's cool to wear monster hoodies. Like, dude, okay. If you own any clothing with a monster logo on it, <laughs> throw it away. <laughs> All you're doing is branding yourself as a doofus. It, and hearty t-shirts. It I doesn't mean, yeah, look that, good on anyone. Yeah. You don't look cool. Yeah. I don't care how much you like that energy drink. Even as somebody in the demo, I will probably never buy a Tommy Bahama shirt. Oh, but you look so cute. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no, because that just sort of says instant douchebag. I get it. You know, I might as well. But at least it says instant douchebag. Have a neck tattoo bag. and a scarf and some earrings, you know. Right, right. I might as well have those, those. how do bearded, long-haired hipster dudes wear wool caps when it's 90 degrees in the summer? How? I don't know. How? Maybe they just get so used to it. You know, their their beard keeps them so warm anyway. I know we're on two it's different just an extra topics here. Yeah, blanket, whatever. You know? okay. Either way, like just I this, see your point. Yeah. Like no energy drink is that good. Okay. <laughs> I have never seen someone wearing oh. monster clothing and thought, wow, they look really cool. Do you remember the no fear <laughs> stickers on the back of trucks? Haven't seen one of those in a minute. Yes, I have. Thank goodness. Yeah. Or the Calvin from Calvin and <sighs> yes, Hobbes pissing, pissing on whatever on logo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just stupid. Like it's all just like, or like the the new one is the the it with the guy humping it. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah, as and, if to say and, it. Right, and it's all just like, in no world is someone going to see you with this on your truck or on your clothing and yeah. think you look really badass, man. And, and say, oh, we got a badass over here. Well, I mean, they'll say that because <laughs> you won't look like a badass. They'll say that sarcastically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I, but that's. But that's the mindset of these young men mm-hmm. who I weep for. Yeah. Is they're like, yeah, you know, big old middle finger to society. <laughs> and we're society. You understand that, right? Yeah. We're like on the other side. So I was talking to John Radford from ECAP mm-hmm. uh, at the Chamber of Commerce swing and soiree, speakeasy soiree that we yes, went to. Yes, that was fun. And he's like, hey, man, you know, thought about joining the chamber and stuff and doing some stuff. And uh-huh. I'm like... Well, John, maybe, but I'd have to reconcile the fact that we are, we sort of pride ourselves as being smart asses on the sidelines. Right, right. You know, we're not the news, Mm -hmm. we're not the TV or the radio. We have certain freedoms Mm -hmm. that they don't have. Yeah. And I think can talk more real than, you know, the, the establishment can. I would agree with that. 